The elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. Change of plans, Commander. Urgent message coming in from the elusive man. Patch him in through the comrade. Passing the elusive man through, Commander. Shepard, we caught a break. I intercepted a distress call from a Torian patrol. They stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Corliss system. The Torians were wiped out, but not before they crippled the collector vessel. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. Hard to imagine how a Turian patrol could take out a collector ship. Reports indicate the hull's intact, but all systems seem to be offline. They could be making repairs as we speak. I'm not saying it won't be dangerous, but we can't let an opportunity like this slip by. If they had a patrol out there, why aren't the Turians sending a recon team in? They will, eventually. But I intercepted the transmissions. In the meantime, we're feeding them false reports. You're close enough that you can be in and out before the Turians learn the truth. Are you sure this information is good? Information is my weapon, Shepard. It's good. Send me the coordinates and I'll take care of it. Already sent. Once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Good luck, Shepard. Coordinates punched in. Let's go find us a collector ship. We have a visual on the collector ship, Commander. Very low emissions. Passive infrared temperatures suggest most systems are offline. Thrusters are cold. That thing is massive. How the hell did the Turians take it out? Ladar scans do not detect any hull breaches on the side facing us. I detect no mass effect field distortions. It appears the drive core is offline. Rendezvous in 30 seconds, Commander. Good luck. like a giant insect hive. Penetrating scans have detected an access node to uplink with collector data banks. Marking location to your heart suit computer. Shepard, I've compared the ship's EM signature to known collector profiles. It is the vessel you encountered on Horizon. Maybe the defense tower softened it for the Turians. The missing colonists might be aboard. If they're still alive. Empty. Otherwise, just like the ones on the horizon. Horrible. Trapped in these pods, completely at the mercy of the collectors. Collectors just leave a pile of bodies lying around. Must have been used for testing. I'd say these subjects didn't pass. They didn't deserve this. Hardly anyone gets what they deserve.
That's a collector. Why would they experiment on one of their own? Edie, I'm uploading the data from this terminal. See if you can figure out what they were up to. Data received. Analyzing. The collectors were running baseline genetic comparisons between their species and humanity. Are they looking for similarities? I have no hypothesis on their motivations. All I have are the preliminary results. They reveal something remarkable. A quad-strand genetic structure identical to traces collected from ancient ruins. Only one race is known to have this structure. The Protheans. My god. The Protheans didn't vanish. They're just working for the Reapers now. These are no longer Prothean, Shepard. Their genes show distinct signs of extensive genetic rewrite. The Reapers have repurposed them to suit their needs. The Reapers didn't wipe out the Protheans. They turned them into monsters and enslaved them. Still, they're working for the Reapers now, and we have to stop them. Damn straight, they're not doing that shit to us. Let's find what we need before the Collectors come to salvage this vessel. Move out. Might be useful. Commander, you gotta hear this. On a hunch, I asked Edie to run an analysis on this ship. I compared the EM profile against data recorded by the original Normandy two years ago. They are an exact match. The same ship dogging me for two years? Way beyond coincidence. Something doesn't add up, Commander. Watch your back. setting up a bridge between you and the collector ship. See if you can get anything useful from the databanks. Data mine in progress, Shepard. Ah, uh, that can't be good. All right, Joker. What just happened? Major power surge. Everything went dark, but we're back up now. I managed to divert the majority of the overload to non-critical systems. Shepard, it was not a malfunction. This was a trap.
Get us out of here. I am simultaneously fighting collector firewalls and over 8,000 nodes. I am tasked to capacity. Here they come again. Direct intervention is necessary. Firing a high impact shot. I know you feel this. <laughs> regained control of the platform, Shepard. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Edie. I always work at optimal capacity. Did you get what we needed? I found data that would help us successfully navigate the Omega-4 relay. I have also found a Turian distress call that served as the lure for this trap. The collectors were the source. It is unusual. Seems logical to me that they would have sent the initial message as bait. No, it is unusual because Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Why are you so sure? I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. He knew it was a trap? Why would he send us into a trap? That son of a bitch sent us right into collector hands. And here I thought I'd had my betrayal and attempted murder for this year. Uh, Commander, we got another problem. The Collector ship is powering up. You need to get out of there before their weapons come online. I'm not losing another Normandy. I do not have full control of their systems. I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. Come on, let's move.
Get us the hell out of here! 
out of here. Specify a destination, Mr. Burrow. Anywhere that's not here. Shepard, looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. Edie told us the distress call originated from the collectors. You betrayed us, just like I knew you would. We're at war. The collectors are taking humans, and every minute we waste is one more we give the enemy to prepare. I know the stakes, but we're supposed to be on the same side, and I can't trust you. Without that information, we don't reach the Collector homeworld, and you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap, but I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. You could have told me the plan. You say I'm important, but you sure try hard to get me killed. I needed the Collectors to believe they had the upper hand. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. Besides, I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think you could succeed. I don't risk people. There are always alternatives. You may not like being on the receiving end, neither would I. But the facts are with me. As much as we try to avoid them, these decisions need to be made. But more importantly, it paid off. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I was just on the Collector ship. Why didn't you say anything about finding their IFF? As I said, Edie just confirmed it. Besides, you wouldn't have had time to find and extract it. But we have options. An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Clendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target. A 37 million year old derelict reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. Aren't brown dwarfs basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, but accurate. They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds and extremely high temperatures. The Reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. I only believe you because I doubt you'd repeat yourself so soon. It's no less a risk, Shepard. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues, and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie. Tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us. Used us. Needed access to the Collector databanks. Necessary risk. He tries something like that again, and the Collectors will be the least of his problems. Edie. Are you sure this IFF is gonna work? My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the Collector homeworld based on navigational data from their vessel. That can't be right. Edie doesn't make mistakes. The Collector homeworld is located somewhere in the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. 
There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction, space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. The Collectors are just servants of our real enemy, and we've all seen what their masters are capable of. They built the mass relays in the Citadel. Who's to say they can't build a space station surrounded by black holes? No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common, and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after him until I know we're ready. Sooner or later, we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict Reaper. What if the Collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. Grunt seems very agitated. You may want to check in on him. I hear that Rupert is actually cooking some good meals lately. Yeah, right. That scunner couldn't serve a good haggis if his life depended on it. But all haggis tastes like ass anyway. Aye, but in the right hands, it can taste like mighty fine ass. Chambers said you're tearing up the place. Something wrong? Something is wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong, tense. I just want to kill something with my hands. More so than usual, like it's not my choice. Like I just want to, I don't know. See, why do that? What's wrong? Pure Krogan probably starts more aggressive than most. I'm not seeing this as a particularly big shift. Doesn't matter if it's normal. I'm not. I'm not used to this... this noise. I want control. When we're moving, fighting, I focus. But here, my blood screams, my plates itch, and even you are just noise. I'm tank-born. What is this? Don't know if I can help, Grunt. Sounds like we need one of your kind to look into this. Most off-world Krogan are warriors. Doctors don't leave the homeworld to Chanka. I won't ask you to go there. I will control this. Joker can get us to the Krogan homeworld. I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. I don't like this. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. Shepard, important news. Know you're busy. Have to deal with the Collectors. Planning attack. Too important to wait. Just receiving data. Still processing, analyzing likely scenarios. Not sure how to begin. Too much intel. You remember our talk? My work on genophage modification? 
You stopped the Krogan adaptation to the Genophage. Part of a team. Scientists, all different types. Blood pack mercenaries captured former team member. Malin, last seen on Tuchanka, might torture him, make an example. Recovering Malin would be a personal favor to me. Do you think they found out your team updated the Genophage? Unclear. No way to determine until we get to Tuchanka. We'll go to Tuchanka and see if we can find your team member. Appreciate it. My assistant, my student, want to see him safe. Malin last seen outside Erdnot territory. Scouts might have seen Blood Pact. Talk to them or Clan Chief. Clan leader wants to speak with you. Keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. Do you know what's wrong with him? What he needs? There's nothing wrong with him. Just go speak to the clan leader. Someday we'll get off this rock and show those Turians who's boss. Scales off and let the Pijaks feast on the mother still alive. Ha! Erdnot clan reports use weak encryption. I see references to a captured Solarian in the logs of the Chief Scout. Good. Talk to Scout then. Or Chief. Either one acceptable. Also, I have been unable to access local medical records. I suggest asking the local clan leader for assistance with Grunt's problem. This is the land of Kredok, Shiagar, and Viol. This chunk of rock is barely worth standing on. Never thought I'd miss the tank. Halt. You must wait till the clan leader summons you. He is... in talk. You know what tradition demands. Clan Erdnot must respond. Your reforms will not go unopposed. You risk appearing weak at a critical time. Shepard. Good enough? Excuse me. <laughs> Out of my... Shepard! My friend. You look well for dead, Shepard. Should have known the Void couldn't hold you. Looks like helping me destroy Saren and the Geth has worked out for you. Glad we didn't have to kill each other on Vermeer. Uh, you made the rise of Erdnot possible. Vermeer was a turning point for the Krogan, though not everyone was happy about it. Destroying Saren's genophage cure freed us from his manipulation. I used that to spur the clans to unify under Erdnot. You abandoned many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. 
speak when spoken to, Uvenk. I'll drag your clan to glory whether it likes it or not. Now, Shepard, what brings you here? How's the Normandy? Destroyed in the Collector Surprise Attack. I ended up spaced. Well, you look good. Ah, the benefits of a redundant nervous system. Yeah, humans don't have that. Oh, it must have been painful then. But you're standing here, and you've got a strong new ship. Takes me back to the old days. Us against the unknown, killing it with big guns. Good times. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We are making a neutral ground where all clans are welcome. Fertile females can be shared among clans. We will strengthen the race as a whole. You threaten everything that makes us strong. It will not last. Maybe. Until then, you're lucky to be a part of it. What do the women of Clan Earth not think about this plan? It was our female clan leader's idea. The neutral area is safe, and it encourages more female clans to ally with us. Attacks on Erdnot now endanger the females of all clans. Even clans that want to see me dead will defend Clan Erdnot. Your women have their own clan structure? Nothing is more valuable than a fertile female. We know it. They know it. They isolate themselves for their own protection. We work together to set up breeding alliances. I can hardly do anything without clan leader Yuta's approval. How do you maintain security with so many different clans in one place? Any clan willing to send in hostages can come in. No fighting inside the camp. Each clan punishes its own criminals. We stop conflicts before anyone dies. Then we present a simple choice. Pay a fine and deal with your problems, or your clan is no longer welcome. That doesn't sound very harsh by Krogan standards. Allies from other clans like what I'm doing. They help deal with skeptics. Many are eager for an outlet. Every time I've declared a clan unwelcome, my allies have destroyed them. Word gets around. What's so important about maintaining individual clans? Every clan has different customs. Rites of passage, rules of behavior, battle songs, all unique. That diversity makes us great. No clan, not even mine, was meant to survive on its own. I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchanka, but you're an exception. I'm looking for a Salarian. He was captured by the Blood Pack and brought here. My scout commander can direct you. He's probably near the perimeter running target practice. Don't take too much of his time. I need a constant watch on the other clans. I have a Krogan on my crew. He has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. Where are you from, Welp? Was your clan destroyed before you could learn what is expected of you? I have no clan. I was tank-bred by Warlord Okir. My line distilled from Kredok, Moro, Shiagar. You recite warlords, but you are the offspring of a syringe. I am pure Krogan. You should be in awe. Okir is a very old name. A very hated name. He is dead. Of course. You're with Shepard. How could he be alive? Does that name mean anything to you, Rex? A vicious warlord responsible for many deaths. Who apparently toyed with genetics. A clone undertaking the right. You are considering it? Tank bred allowed status as an adult? This is too far. There's nothing wrong with him. He's becoming a full adult. Ah, puberty ritual. Common among species with hormone-driven reproductive urges. I don't care what aliens call it. Krogan undergo the rite of passage. Too far, Rex. Your clan may rule, but this thing is not Krogan. Idiot. So, Grunt, do you wish to stand with Erdnot? What does the rite of passage require? Not for me to say, Shepard. The Shaman will discuss that. 
You'll let a tank bred Krogan join Clan Erdna? Only because he's with you. After all, you and I killed thousands like him. Not quite as big, but many. Clan Erdnot is strong, and the others will do as I say. They see the benefit of my vision. What happens if he doesn't do this rite of passage? If he was left here, he would be killed. The clanless are not respected. A tank bred, probably more so. His disposition is what it is, right or no. That's just him being a Krogan. Okir didn't tell you that in the tank. Did he, boy? This is his choice. It is in my blood. It is what I am for. Good boy. Speak with the shaman. He's over on the second level. Give him a good show and he'll set you on the path. You too, Shepard. How many times have you stepped in a mess for your crew, hmm? Good to see you, Rex. Sure you can't come with us? Wish I could. But I need to keep these short-sighted fools in line. Hunt well, Shepard. that special they had on the extranet? That crap rots your brain. You should be out hunting. Or fixing something if you can't hunt. It was a special vid on the Citadel. The Citadel Presidium has a big statue of a Krogan, right in the middle. Huh. Well, I'm not putting a damn Asari statue up here, if that's what you want. Don't be a fool. You're honoring a fight against the Rat. Maybe they could have honored us by not bombing us with the Jenna Phage. I'll tear you apart! You don't have the plates to try. The Destiny Ascension has completed its 20 colony victory cruise. Council members aboard thanked Human Alliance soldiers for their efforts in repelling Saren's invasion two years ago. Don't. Turn back, human. I may be an ambassador among my people, but that doesn't mean I have to speak to the likes of you. Don't think that carrying this whelp of a Krogan makes you worth my time. Leave now before my guards decide to reject you. You seem like a well-traveled Krogan, Ambassador. I am. Then you must know who I am. And you have to be aware that bad things happen to those who oppose me. Stand down, men. I'm starting to like this human. I am the ambassador to Erdnok from Clan Nakmore. We're a small clan based in the Kranic Wastes. If Nakmore is a small clan, how do you keep the more powerful clans from destroying you? We are the clan of the great warlord Nakmore Kral, who faced down platoons of Turians and won. Most clans lend us the respect our ancestor is due. What business does Clan Nakmore have with the Erdnot? Clan leader Rex requested that I come. He and Clan Nakmore have been in talks about a more permanent alliance. With our help, Erdnot could rally others behind its banner and truly unite Tuchanka, and we would gain the chance to fight in larger battles with greater plunder. I thought all Krogan want to be warriors. What makes a Krogan become an ambassador? <sighs> You don't know as much as you think, human. A Kroger diplomat has to represent the strength of his people, or his clan appears ripe for conquest. I slaughtered my way to the top of my clan, human. I speak with the authority of a warrior. I should go. I'm sure you are needed elsewhere. Watch it, human. Go away. The envoy to the female clans doesn't have to listen to aliens. You go beyond yourself, Gatatagu Vank. The rights of Erdnot are dominant. How do we know it will challenge him? He's unnatural. The beasts of the right could ignore him like a lump of plastic. They know blood no matter the womb. Your barking does not help your case. I'll speak for myself. 
This is the tank bread. It is very lifelike. Smells correct as well. Your protests ring hollow, Uvank. Erdnot Rex has given us permission to seek clan status for Grunt. Permission? <laughs> that is good enough, if lacking in spirit. If this must stand on ritual, then I invoke a denial. My Krantz stands against him. He has no one. Mm. My patience is tested, but Uvank invokes correctly. Grunt, who is your Krant? Your allies willing to kill and die on your behalf. How is a candidate tested if he brings back up on his rite of passage? Not every Krogan can be the strongest warrior, but each must inspire his peers to battle at his side. If the ones who know you best can find nothing worthy in you, you should wander the wastes and die alone before you weaken my clan. We stand with Grunt, as shipmates and comrades. Shipmates are not the same thing, but I grant you aliens your simple interpretation. Aliens don't know strength. My followers are true, Krogan. Everything about Grunt is a lie. You would go against a shaman's will and stand in Grunt's way? They have not defied me, human. They have angered me, as has his whole situation. I remain undecided. What the hell is your issue? What have you got against Grunt? It doesn't matter if one of our own made him. He is a manipulation. He may as well be the genophage in the flesh. The genophage defines the weak. My bloodline will make us stronger. You sound like Rex bringing radical change that threatens our core. We have gone too far already. This is about politics. You maneuver like the Citadel Council. Does your Krant also fight with words? You dare slander me in such a way? Impressive! You challenged with words, their natural weapon. And your Krant sees how your position weakens, Uvank. Shaman, you cannot decide in his favor. What about Krogan tradition if you pollute the right? You... you dare. I was a warrior before your mother was born. I speak with the authority of centuries. I decide who is worthy. That is the end of it. I have other means to oppose this. You have provoked them. Reason enough for me to like you. They're your problem now. Do we need any special equipment? To begin the right, only the candidate and his cramped are required. You love battle, don't you, Shepard? The last gasp of a dying opponent. Bring your love of the fight to Grunt's trial, and he will succeed. Is that Krogan gonna be a problem? He is forbidden to interfere, will he? During the rite of passage, you must be ready for anything, Shepard. From what you've shown me, you will not disappoint. We've waited long enough. Tell us how this works. Still your impatience, Shepard. For now, know that Grunt will be tested, and that you must adapt. We're ready. Let's do this. Excellent. This is Tachanka's most recent scar. The last surface city to fall in the rebellions. The keystone was at the heart. It has survived wars and the passage of centuries. It endures, like the Krogan. If you wish to join Clan Erdnot, you must contemplate the keystone and its trials. What will happen? Who knows? You must adapt. You must thrive, no matter the situation. Any true Krogan will. Let's get started, Shepard. Hit the Keystone. First the Krogan conquered Tachanka, and mastered a natural world only we are fit to hold.
need to trigger the keystone to continue the right. Now, all Krogan bear the genophage. Our reward, our curse. It is a fight where the only goal is survival. Good. I want more. You live. And you brought down the Thresher Maw. No one has done that in generations. Word not Rex was the last. My cramp gave me strength beyond my genes, which are damn good. True. Your alien found weakness in some of my cramp. I wonder. You say you are pure. Okir constructed you? No alien meddling? The best Krogan traits are distilled into Grunt. He's designed to be perfect. Being designed is the problem, but not made by aliens. And he is truly powerful. That is a tolerable loophole. A what? A reason to accept you. You are a mistake, but your potential could tip the current balance of the clans. You spit on my father's name, on Shepard's name, but now you stop ranting because I'm strong. With restrictions, you could not breathe or serve on an alien ship, but you be clan in name. You talk like he's a thing. You're after his power, 
You don't really want him in your clan. Of course not. I didn't really want to cooperate with Clan Erdnot either, but I had to. Clan Gadotar is on the verge, either of greatness or of joining the dust. I get traditional support if I fight you, and reformer support if I back you. Your rite of passage tipped that balance too. Grunt can't settle for that, and I'm sure not allowing him to leave my crew. It doesn't matter what you'd allow. Your authority doesn't go that far. No, Gadotog, whatever order you about is that repulsive alien bears to him. Shepard may piss me off now and then, but they drain my tank for droppings like you. You're dead. the rite of passage, earning the honor of clan and name. Many survive, but it has been years since a thresher maw fell. Your names shall live in glory. Grunt, you are Erdnot. We now own property. Join the army and apply to serve under a battlemaster. Shepard is my battlemaster. He has no match. Understood. Congratulations, Erdnot Grunt. Accept this token from Fortak. His weapons are the finest we have. What were you called before you became Shaman? I gave up my name when I became the Shaman. I am a conduit for the rage and bloodlust of my people. It would be wrong to retain my old identity. My life belongs to the clan. Tell me about Krogan rites and ceremonies. You have seen the Rite of Passage. Krogan suffer the Rite of Life at birth, and the Rite of Honor when they wish to be considered for breeding. The Rite of Firsts is suffered before a Krogan faces a new enemy. A clan leader also undergoes many rites in service to the clan. What rites did you go through to become Chief Shaman? Becoming the Shaman is excruciating. I passed through rites that made me wish to die. I carry the scars on my soul. I must perform rites each dawn and dusk to keep me bound into our Krogan nature. Our spirit is one of violence and death. I must be attuned to that. Your job is awful. Indeed. I want to know about Tchanka's past. Tchanka is a place of great gifts. It kills the weak torments the slow, and destroys the stupid. Survival is an honor, and here, Krogan thrive. We cover this planet with our civilization, only to burn it to the ground a dozen times over. Each time, we grow stronger. When we are wise and powerful enough, we will tame the planet forever. I've never heard anyone say that wiping out their own civilization was a good thing. I'd have thought you, of all aliens, would understand, Shepard. The Krogan empires and clans of the past were glorious, built in great battles and conquests, but their cores were weak. 
How else could they have fallen? When Krogan civilization achieves its apex, there will be no stopping it. No stopping us. I should go. May your foes be strong enough to keep you sharp. A human killed the Thresher Maw. On foot. I may be young, but I relay the wishes of the females. That's important. Don't frown, the ambassador. You don't have the plates to try. You hear that the tank bread and the human killed the Thresher Maw? Everybody's heard. As if it does, it's Rex himself. Just can't help making trouble. No one has killed a maw since my turn in the right. Next, you'll tell me he's a Clint and craps dark matter. Guess that's what it takes to replace me. You are Erdnot Grunt. Welcome. I need to go. We'll go over this another time. Watch yourself, Shepard. Tuchanka isn't safe and homey like Pharos and Ilos. Put down some real money, human. Watch it, human. What do you want, human? Rex told me to be polite. He didn't say you were going to talk to me. So, you're in charge of Erdnot's scouts? Why waste your time shooting at vermin? Ammunition is the one thing we're not hurting for on Tachanka. As scout commander, I have to set an example. Plus, the little bastards get into food supplies if their numbers get too high. Can't have that. Don't your storehouses have automated defenses? Why bother? Half of what we eat is vermin. And if we get hold of defense systems, we don't use them to guard grain. We got weapons stockpiles to take care of. Beyond that, our women and children get the security. Your enemies go after civilians? Easiest way to wipe out a clan. Women and kids can fight, but they're always outnumbered if another clan goes after them. If its women and children are killed, the clan's hope for the future is lost. It falls apart. We don't do that, though. Rex's orders. Even if it costs us a battle, we don't fire on non-combatants. What does the scout commander do? We find out where the enemies are, and we make them think that there are too many of us to screw with. Sometimes that means harassing the perimeter, taking out a generator or two. Other times, we play hide-and-seek. We leave lots of tracks, exaggerate our numbers. That's not recon, that's sabotage. It's a lot easier to count their numbers once you blow some of them up. Everyone knows where Erdnot is, human. It's not like we can hide. So every clan of Tachanka encroaches on the other clan's borders? Borders? This is Tachanka. Our borders are determined by the range of our guns. We are what we are, human. If we didn't fire at them, they wouldn't take us seriously. I'm looking for a Solarian. The Blood Pack captured him and he was last seen around here. I heard about that Solarian. Poor bastard. If it's Blood Pack, then Clan Warlock has him. Sent one of my scouts to check it out, but he never reported back. Guess they got him, too. Chief told me to give you one of the trucks. Just follow the highway to Warlock's base, if you've got the quads to deal with him in the blood pack.
headed for combat. Next not difficult clean hit. Repurposed Krogan Hospital. Sturdy. Built to withstand punishment. That body. Human. Need to take a look. Sores. Tumors. Ligatures showing restraint at wrists and ankles. Track marks for repeated injection sites. Test subject. Victim of experimentation. I don't suppose there's a way to tell who this poor bastard was? 
No tattoos or ID. Maybe slave or prisoner. Maybe merc or pirate. Irrelevant now. Clearly part of Krogan tests to cure genophage. Humans useful as test subjects. Genetically diverse. Enables exploration of treatment modalities. Experimenting on humans? That kind of crap is what makes Cerberus start to seem like a good idea. Never used humans myself. Disgusting. Unethical. Sloppy. Used by brute force researchers, not thinkers. No place in proper science. <sighs> Krogan use of humans, unsurprising. I imagine you had to do some live subject testing while developing the new genophage. No, unnecessary. Limited tests to simulations, corpses, clone tissue samples. High level tests on Varan. No tests on species with members capable of calculus. Simple rule, never broke it. What can you tell about their experiments from looking at the body? Position of tumors suggests deliberate mutation of adrenal, pineal glands, modifying hormone levels, counterattack on glands hit by genophage. <sighs> Clever. Do you think they're close to curing the genophage? Can't say. Need more data. Conceptually sound, though. Genophage alters hormone levels, could repair damage with hormonal counterattack. How are humans more genetically diverse? More variable. Peaks and valleys, mutations, adaptations, far beyond other life. Makes humans useful test subjects. Larger reactions to smaller stimuli. I know we can look much different from each other, but Asari have a wide range of skin tones. No, ignore superficial appearance, down to genetic code. Biotic abilities, intelligence levels. Can look at random Asari, Krogan, make reasonable guess. Humans, too variable to judge. Outliers in all species, of course. Geniuses, idiots. But human probability curve offers greater overall variety. Now we've got two reasons to shut this place down. Focus on mailing. Too late to help the dead. I am the speaker for Clan Werelock, Offworlders. You have shed our blood. By rights, you should be dead already. But Werelock Gold, the Chief of Chiefs, has ordered that you be given leave to flee and spread the message of our coming. Krogan don't generally let people go. What does Clan Werelock have planned? If you walk away now, you can tell your children that you saw Clan Werelock before our blood pack conquered the stars. You think the Erd not impressive? They are pitiful! Warlock Gold will destroy them! The Salarian will cure the Genophage, and Clan Warlock will spread across the galaxy in a sea of blood! Appears they discovered Malin's work. Unfortunate. It doesn't have to happen like this. I can understand wanting to cure the Genophage. No human, you understand nothing! You have not seen the piles of children that never lived. The Krogan were wronged. We will make it right, and then we will have our revenge! Half the galaxy sees the Krogan as victims. If you start a war, you'll lose their support. We have the Blood Pack, and we have the Salarian. When our clan numbers in the millions, we will not need support. When we cure the Genophage, Warlock Gold will rule all Krogan. The Krogan Rebellions will become the Krogan Empire! You talk too much. See? The human cannot hit a simple target! The blood pack will avenge me! Too late! Now you're dead!
Labs likely through there. Can smell antiseptic, hint of dead flesh. Just get us there. May contain useful data. One moment. Genetic sequences. Hormone mutagens is still steady. Protein chains, live tissue, clone tissue. Very thorough. Standard treatment factors. Avoiding scorched earth immunosuppressants to alter hormone levels. Good. Hate to see that. Most people wouldn't be so casual about developing a sterility plague, Warden. Not developing. Modifying. Much more difficult. Working within confines of existing genophage. A hundred times the complexity. Errors unacceptable. Could cause total sterility, malignant tumors, could even reduce effectiveness, worse than doing nothing. Had to keep Krogan population stable. One in 1,000. Perfect target, optimal growth. Like gardening. Pretty enough however you like. You're talking about murdering millions. No. Murdered no one. Altered fertility, prevented fetal development of nervous system. Have killed many, Shepard. Many methods. Gunfire, knives, drugs, tech attacks. Once with farming equipment, but not with medicine. You're saying you were working just as hard to keep their population from falling? Yes. Could have eradicated Krogan. Not difficult. Increased mutation to degrade genetic structure further. Chose not to. Rachni extinction tragic. Didn't want to repeat. All life precious. Universe demands diversity. What was it like working on the Genophage Modification Project? Best years of my life. Wake up with ideas, talk over breakfast, experiments all morning. Statistical analysis in afternoon, run new simulations during dinner, set data runs to cook overnight. Laughter, ego, argument, passion, galaxy's biggest problem, massive resources thrown at us. Got anything we wanted? Do you keep in touch with your old team members? No. All changed with deployment. Made test drop on isolated Krogan clan, hit rest of Tuchanka when results were positive. End of project. Separate ways. Watching it end, watching birth rates drop. Personal. Private. Not appropriate for team. Sounds like you were pretty important. How'd you go from that to running a clinic on Omega? Wanted to heal people. Good use of last decade. Something easy. No ethical concerns. Understand rationale for modified genophage. Right choice, still. Hard to sleep some nights. How can you agree with using the genophage, Morden? Look at what happened to Tuchanka as a result. State of Tuchanka not due to genophage. Nuclear winter caused by Krogan before Salarians made first contact. Krogan choices. Refuse truce during Krogan rebellions. Expand after Rachni wars. Splinter after genophage. Genophage medical, not nuclear. No craters from virus. Damage caused by Krogan, not Salarians. Not me. So if the Krogan banded together and formed a united government, you'd welcome that? Yes. United Krogan saved galaxy. Destroyed Rachni. Genophage not punishment. Simply alters fertility to correct for removal from hostile environment. The effects of Tachanka are still your responsibility. You upgraded the virus that kept them in barbarism. Krogan committed war crimes. Refused to negotiate. Turian defeat not complete. Krogan could have recovered. Attacked again. Conventional war too risky. Krogan forces too strong. Genophage was only option. Krogan forced Genophage. Us or them. No apologies for winning. Wouldn't have minded peaceful solution. We're not gonna find mail on staring at consoles. Come on. Straight marks. Volunteer. Sterile, warlock female willing to risk procedures. Hoped for cure. Pointless. Pointless waste of life. You didn't think the Krogan would sit back and let the genophage continue, did you? Suppose not. Still unpleasant to see. Rest, young mother. 
Find your gods. Find someplace better. I didn't expect spirituality from you, Morton. Genophage Modification Project altered millions of lives, then saw results. Ego, humility, juxtaposition, frailty of life, size of universe. Explored religions after work completed. Different races. No answers. Many questions. Sounds like you were trying to deal with your guilty conscience. The doctor killed millions. Modified Genophage Project, great in scope. Scientifically brilliant, but ethically difficult. Krogan reaction visceral, tragic. Not guilty, but responsible. Trained as doctor, Genophage affects fertility, doesn't kill. Still, caused this. Hard to see big picture behind pile of corpses. Can you really just rationalize it all away? How do you justify it? Wheel of life. Popular Salarian concept. Similar to human Hinduism in focus on reincarnation. Appealing to see life as endless. Fix mistakes in next life. Learn. Adapt. Improve. Refuse to believe life ends here. Too wasteful. Have more to offer. Mistakes to fix. Cannot end here. Could do so much more. If you need this much soul-searching to get over it, maybe the genophage was wrong. Had to be done. Brachni wars, Krogan rebellions, all pointed to Krogan aggression. So many simulations. Effects of Krogan population increase. All pointed to war. Extinction. Genophage or genocide. Save Galaxy from Krogan. Save Krogan from Galaxy. So you're willing to sterilize a species based on the evidence of a few simulations? Yes. Millions of data points. Years of arguments. Countless scenarios. All noted Krogan fragmentation as dangerous. No unified culture to support repopulation. Would have been war. Turians and humans destroying Krogan utterly. Genophage was better. Saved lives. You could have cured the genophage instead. Brought hope to the Krogan. They'd have rejoiced. Assumes human reaction. Krogan stimulus response different. Harsh environment. Take chance to fight. Flee. Would have caused chaos on Tuchanka. Victor would have war economy. Bloodthirsty army. Galactic expansion only logical outcome. More war. Genophage saved lives. War would have ended. Look at the dead woman, Morton. It doesn't look like you saved her. No, it doesn't. Worked with available data. Only option. No other possible. Doesn't matter. Chief Scout told us to watch for you. We've taken out the guards. Get back to Erdnut. I can't. The Warlock did things to me. Drugs. Injections. Said I was sacrificing for the good of all Krogan. Experiments to cure the genophage. Everything's blurry. Hard to think. Have to stay. Morton, can you get him back on his feet? Stims, maybe? Something to bolster his immune system? You don't understand. I'm not too sick to leave. I have to stay. They're curing the genophage. They're gonna make it all better. They have to keep doing the tests. Caution, Shepard. Patient unstable. Susceptible. Brainwashed. Why do you want them to keep doing the tests? This is my fault. I got caught. Wasn't strong enough. Not good enough. This is the best I can do. This is all I can do. I'm not big enough to have a real shot with the females. I'll never have kids of my own. But if I help undo the genophage, 
Then I mattered. Millions of children will be born. Warlock children. They're going to destroy the other clans. But... No. No, they said I was helping Erdnot. If you want to help Erdnot, you need to get back there. But it would take a real badass to make it back to camp all injured. I can do it. You? I said a badass, not some scout whining like a quarian with a tummy ache. I can do it. I'm up. And I'm going to the female camp. Damn right you are. Get back there and show them what you're worth. Go. Go. Nicely done. Fortunately, subject is unlikely to be contagious. Shepard, I'm detecting crates ahead that are holding unstable materials. A misplaced shot could cause a significant explosion. Or a well-placed shot. Explosives useful. Burn through Krogan armor.
This looks interesting. You always had trouble seeing evidence that disagreed with your preconceptions. How long will it take you to admit that I'm here because I wish to be here? He wasn't kidnapped. He came here voluntarily to cure the genophage. Impossible. Whole team agreed. Project necessary. How was I supposed to disagree with the great Dr. Solis? I was your student. I looked up to you. Experiments performed here. Live subjects, prisoners, torture and executions. You're doing? We've already got the blood of millions on our hands, Doctor. If it takes a bit more to put things right, I can deal with that. You honestly think the experiments you did here are justified? We committed cultural genocide. Nothing I do will ever be justified. The experiments are monstrous because I was taught to be a monster. Morton, did you ever perform experiments like this? No. Never taught you this, Malin. So your hands are clean. What does it matter if the ground is stained with the blood of millions? You taught me that the end justified the means. I will undo what we did, Professor. The only way I know how. What happens if the genophage is cured and the Krogan expand again? That'll be on your head. We justified this atrocity by saying the Krogan would cause havoc and war if their population recovered. But look at the galaxy. Batarian attacks in the Traverse. Geth attacks in the Citadel. Is this a more peaceful universe? The assault on your Eden Prime might never have happened if we had let the Krogan recover. We'll never know. How would a Krogan population explosion have done anything to stop Saren and the Geth? An increased Krogan population would have forced the Council to take steps, likely involving colony rights in the Traverse. The Turian fleets would be vigilant for any military activity in the area. They might have stopped the Geth at Eden Prime. Supposition. Impossible to be certain. Don't you see? We tried to play God and we failed. We only made things worse. And I'm going to fix it. You talked about killing, but the genophage isn't lethal. It only affects fertility rates. Krogan fight over fertile females. They become mercenaries or pirates because they see no alternative. They would be thriving in a cultural renaissance now had we not decided that this is what they deserved. Inaccurate. Krogan population resulted in war. Simulations were clear. Why work with Clan Warlock? And how did you access the genophage data? The data was easy to obtain. We all still had clearance. We were heroes. All I had to do was ask. As for the Werelock, they were the only clan with both the resources and the commitment. Erdnot has a larger camp than Werelock. Why not use them? Erdnot Rex is too soft. He wasn't willing to do the experiments I needed. It's Erdnot's loss and Werelock's gain. Their clan will be the first to recover from the crime we committed. We're shutting your lab down, Malin. Shutting down more than that. You can't face the truth, can you? Can't admit that your brilliant mind led you to commit an atrocity! Unacceptable experiments. Unacceptable goals. Won't change. No choice. Have to kill you. Wait. You don't need to do this, Morton. You're not a murderer. <sighs> no. Not a murderer. Thank you, Shepard. Finished, Malon. Get out. No warlock left. Project over. What if he talks to more Krogan? Tells the public about the modified genophage project. Special tasks group good at covering tracks. No proof. Warlock willingness to work with Salarian, unusual. Other Krogan will kill him. Aren't you worried that he'll start his research again? No. Locking this unit. Special task group can cut access to old data. Could start from scratch. Decades of work, though. Didn't teach you everything I knew. You heard the professor. Get out before he changes his mind. Where am I supposed to go, Professor? Don't care. Try Omega. Can always use another clinic. The Krogan didn't deserve what we did to them, Professor. The genophage needs to end. Not like this. Apologies, Commander. Misunderstood mission parameters. No kidnapping. My mistake. Thank you. Don't worry about me, Morton. How are you doing? Should have killed him. Wanted to. Easier than listening. Easier for him, too. Experiments indicate how far he's fallen. Expected it from Krogan. Not one of mine. Maybe you'll remember that the next time you're discussing the ethics of the genophage. Yes. So many variables. Stress responses. Impossible to truly predict. Something to think about. Malin's research. Only loose end. Could destroy it. 
Closure, security. Still valuable, though. This is the research that included tests on living victims. It's tainted. Right now, victims died for nothing. Keep it, use it. Death's worth something. Malin's work could cure Genophage. Don't know. Effects on Krogan. Effects on Galaxy. Too many variables. Too many variables. You regret what the Krogan have become. You see the horror of what they did here, but you see the loss, too. Wasted potential. They don't deserve this, Morgan. Save the data. Point taken, Shepard. Capturing data. Wiping local copy. Still years away from cure. But closer than starting from scratch. Done. Ready to go. Ready to be off to Chanka. Anywhere else. Maybe somewhere sunny. Let's get out of here. To see it. In addition, killing the Thresher Maw has produced several breeding requests for Grunt and one for Shepard. Ah. I straight ahead. My scout made it back. We've got him at the tent. Doesn't remember much beyond getting tortured, but he remembers you. Said you yelled at him until he got his hump out of that basin back here. You've got a quad, human. Thanks for saving my scout. Saves me having to train another one. Thanks for the information. Don't know about the rest of your species, but you're good in my books, human. Give me a reason. Step back. You killed that Thresher Maw on foot? Welcome to the clan, or not grunt. Honored to be a part of it. Good for you. Now go find something else to do. Those fools brought this Tomka back from a skirmish without its combustion manifold. They say it got shot off in the field. You tell me, how can you expect a Tomka to run without a combustion manifold? I found a combustion manifold out in the field. Is this what you need? That'll work. Faster than building one from scratch, at least. You just saved me three days' work, human. You've earned my time if you want it. Krogan's place so much importance on martial strength. How did you become a mechanic? How do you think those fools make it to the field to kill each other? Who do you think keeps the weapons working? Without me, there's no battle, just slaughter. I am the military might of Clan Erdnaught. How do you feel about what Rex is trying to do? The old man's crazy if you ask me, which you just did. But that stuff fixes itself. If it doesn't work, Rex gets torn to shreds and we find out who's got the next best plan. What's that you're working on there? I'm tuning up these machines for battle. It's a wonder this Tomka here made it back to camp. It could be worse. A couple more hits on the broadside, and this thing would have crumbled. Let me get out of your way. Don't do me any favors. Krogan's hit by genophage. Nuclear assaults. Civil wars. Still survive. Yeah, no thanks to you. Or anyone else. Impressive to see life adapt, continue despite circumstances. Inspiring. Just 
As I understand it, Clan Erdnot has a new member. So, you're our new warrior. The shaman gave you the customary upgrades, I assume. He's fast to pass up my work as his reward. Use them well. The Lord High Researcher for Clan Erdnot has no time to make replacements. But perhaps I can offer a discount. You must be working on something important. I was building the biggest, best offensive ordinance yet. A real ground pounder. But the new clan leader wastes my time with frivolous research. Crop genetics, medicinal improvements. We can buy that stuff from the Salarians. Salarians created genophage, I've heard. Still trust them with medicines and agriculture? Yeah, yeah, what else can the Salarians do to us at this point? It's not like they can make us even more infertile. Actually, wait, forget I said anything. I take it you're a scientist. I used to be a scientist. I designed weapons. Now my genius is wasted on frivolous things. Things that don't explode. My predecessor said no one would understand the true worth of my work. As I pulled my blade from his chest, I knew he was telling the truth. Not exactly what I would call effective academic peer review. I don't care what you'd call it. We value the will to use what we create, not just the ability to create it. We don't count success until the ground shakes in response. Enjoy your research. Yes, yes, move along. This might be useful. Don't touch anything. One wrong step, Shepard. One more win in the pits. I'm retired. Were you around with the female camps and the children over last week? No. I was off dealing with a Baron attack. What? Any promising warriors? Yes, of course. They're strong. One day they will tear our enemies apart. I hear you killed a Thresher Maw. Impressive. Welcome, Erdnod and Grun. My name is Ratch. You and your Krant will find many items of interest in my store. The human is my battle master. Of course. There's not much here for humans, but you can take a look if you want. Everyone I talk to hates that aliens are in Erdnod. Except you. I don't have the luxury of turning away paying customers. I do enough business off-world to know that you aliens have more credits than people here do. What do you have in stock? Most of it's food and drink that's toxic to humans. Rincall's a local favorite. Don't try to act tough, it'll tear your insides apart. He's not joking. Rincall hits aliens like ground glass. Otherwise, I've got weapons, scrap, and whatever food those pie jocks don't steal. Which isn't much. Take a look at my kiosk over there if you want to buy something. What the hell is a pie jack? Off-world vermin. Humans say they're like monkeys. They come in and steal food, ring call, whatever they can get their talons on. We started using the mounted defense cannons to stop them. I'm a good shot. Maybe I can help out with the pie jacks. Feel free. You can use the console out there to control the guns. Make a dent in the pie jack population, and you get a discount. Good luck with that. I should go. Suit yourself. Good, Varen. Stay. One of the children, probably five years from the right. Yeah, my eyes, I think. Huh. Think you actually had a fertile female on one of your trips to their camp? I... I must have. Son, good for you. We'll get a ring call to celebrate. Place your bed on the pits, you mate. We won't. Let's see what the human can do.
What do you need? Talk to you later. The pits have been a bloodbath ever since Urza's handler was exiled. My child. My son. We played tackle the Baron. It was... It was good. Fast. Strong. Well, of course he was. Any son of yours must be. Then they went back to the female camp. It was so fast. I didn't get to talk with them. Should I ask the female clan for right of parentage? Why bother with all the politics? You know you've sired a son. That's enough. But I could teach him to hunt. The, the best way to shoot a gun. To, to fight with honor and savagery. Eh, you can do that next time they bring the children home. It's not the same. I lost half my stock in a bed on the pits. And it was the good half. Seeing those vermin roasting in the heat from an explosive shell. I swear it was glorious. It was a lot of fun. Help yourself to more. There's no shortage of pie jocks out there if you get a craving for violence. I'll give you a discount at my store. Anything you want, you buy at cost. I should go. Suit yourself. Now what's this? Here, try this. Looks like Gurr's finally found someone to follow around. I just wish... I don't know. Things could be different. We could live together, us, the women and the children. You know we can't. We'd just be one big, weak target. Have to keep the fertile females safe. The children safe. Damn the genophage. I think I'll take you up on that ring hole later. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal.
you know we've got a crazy woman squatting down in the sub deck? What? If she touches anything, I'll kill her. Oh, and the only thing she wears from her waist up is tattoos. Oh, maybe I should go down and welcome her aboard. And she's a murderer, has biotic powers that could crush you with a blink, hates everyone in Cerberus. Damn it, girl. Stop toying with me. Erdnot Grunt. I like it. I have a clan. That makes me... It makes me want to fight, not just able to. At Uvink, I wanted to disembowel him, to tear out his spine like a trophy. Can you focus that on our real enemy? Or do I have to lock you up for the ship's safety? I get it now. It's part of what I am. It was just delayed because of being tank bred. Now that I know it's not an outside thing, and I have a place as a Krogan, I like it. Our enemies are in trouble, Shepard. And we better not run out of targets. There's no danger of that. They're practically lining up. Everyone gets a turn. Ha! <laughs> Wouldn't want it any other way. This mission takes me back. Beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Gizak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept the helmet to remind me of that pained expression. Don't touch. That rifle's older than you are. I call it Jesse. That's my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillian Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old rifle. Still hard to believe Malin betrayed me, betrayed my work, disgusted by his actions. Proud of his nerve, though. Always thought he lacked backbone. Hope he finds something new, better gold, better purpose, fewer torture tests. You're really at peace with what happened? Yes, of course. Can't change what happened. Life continues. Back to mission, back to work. Become like Malin otherwise. Solarian emotional processing faster than other species. Has to be. Short-lived culture can't spend time reminiscing. So you really don't feel bad at all about what happened on Tachanka? Yes, correct. Now, at least. Greatly distressed at the time. Stages of grief, loss, anger, rationalization. Dealt with it. Most issues settled on Tachanka, some on shuttle back to Normandy. Malin didn't seem like he processed his emotional response. He was obsessed with the genophage. True. Didn't mean to imply that Salarians were healthier emotionally. Can still make wrong choices. Bad decisions from grief, anger, guilt. Malin couldn't accept feelings. Made decision. Executed. Probably before I left for Omega. Wish I'd seen it. Solarians still feel, just resolve it quickly. Explains lack of marriage. Can't sustain courtship emotions. Or perhaps based on reproduction. Unsure. What about Malin's data on the genophage? His attempts at a cure? What about it? Have it over there somewhere. Not dealing with it now. Need to focus on collectors. Not important now, regardless. Appreciate you helping me back on Tuchanka. Should get back to work. Wasted enough time already. Lots to do. Talk later. So the Collectors were once Protheans, repurposed by the Reapers. What a sad end. Makes you wonder if the Keepers on the Citadel were once something different.
Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? Quiet enough. I... What the... Trouble? No, it's nothing. I... Son of a... Very funny, Edie. Real original. Stop it. You did insist on manual control, Mr. Moreau. That's it for now. See you, Commander. <laughs> ah, sorry, that was supposed to go to my earpiece. You had me so worried when you were trapped on the Collector ship. Thank goodness for Edie. The Normandy crew delivered. Including you. You're too kind. We were there to help, but Edie gets the credit this time. The elusive man made sure Edie was installed for this mission. Now I see why. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? That'll be all. It's always nice chatting with you.